Uh, if it hasn't been moved, yes. Yeah, right, just spawned. Yeah. Right. Do you see what I'm saying there? Yeah, please don't move the gun around so that everyone can just see what it looks like when you're lined up. If you already know what it looks like, yeah, just make things go faster. You don't need to look. Oh, the problem with uh, actually shifting the gun, though, is uh, once you get in a mission, you're going to have to shift it back to the original azimuth of fire. Otherwise, like, you're going to be off if you try to uh, fire another mission. Right. So that's why, I mean, if you could, I just traverse the gun onto the uh, your aiming post. I mean, unless you're, it's actually out of traverse, in which case you can shift the gun. But I mean, that way, when you get in a mission, you don't actually have to, you know, go fuck around with like your compass and get it back on the same as with the fire. Well, no, you don't have to, anyways. Because as long as your because def your deflection, as long as you keep in mind what your original azimuth of fire is, and you don't adjust the sight unit without moving the or you don't move the gun without moving the sight unit, you're fine. I'm pretty sure, right? Because if you add in 400, right, deflection, and then you move to like. Let's say I added in thirty. So I, let's say I moved my sight unit to thirty-four hundred mils, right? So yeah. I've added two hundred deflection. If I want to shoot a mission that's at minus two hundred, then I go back. I'll have to shift it. It'll still go the same distance, right? Yeah, but I mean, how how do you know you're shifting back two hundred mils if you don't move the sight unit? Because it's like if you're late on the sight and you shift the gun, you try to shift the gun back. Your eyes on the fire. You've got no reference point. Because you're not going to be able to see the aiming post. Like, right. you, know, you can't see 200 mils left with that sight. No. Yeah. It's complicated. Yeah. Yeah, so, like Pi said, try not to shift the gun if you don't have to. If you do shift the gun, you need to put it back when you're done with it. Right? Yeah, like... Yeah, because basically what that mission is called, it's called an out-of-traverse mission, and uh, I don't know on the 105, but like on the 155, they call it a speed shift, and in that case you'd have to pump the suspension of the gun up and shift the gun onto the new... Well, the problem is basically what you the, do. The, traverse on, no, the traverse on the 105 is like really short, though. It's only like 10, 10 degrees. Oh, really? It's well, 100 yeah. mils in each direction. Yeah. yeah the triple zone is 400, so we got a little bit more room to work with. Yeah. All right, sorry, if you didn't catch that conversation, uh, don't worry about it that much. Uh, it's not what you need to know. What you really need to know is the personal will bring down as a deflection and an elevation or a quadrant, and then you basically put that in, and uh, you can shoot it that way. So, yeah, uh, so quadrant's the same thing as elevation. So for the elevation, you'll dial it in with the sight unit and then adjust the, the gun up and down until the bubble level is level with the or the bubble level is level and you'll see what I mean when you look at the site unit basically it'll there's two lines in the middle works just like a level or a plumb and uh, you can shift it to make it uh, so that the bubble which is the zero is in between the two center lines and that means you're on elevation any questions <laughs> I wish I had one. Right. <laughs> all right. So uh, in that case, I want to get everyone to pair off. All right. Find a find a gun. Just get it set up. Choose one person to be a loader, one person to be a gunner, and we'll send you guys a fire mission, and I'll walk you through it. Who is in team five? Who's uh, I'm in team left? five? Okay. Cool. Who? Uh, me, Blood in. I was from team four. I don't have partners though. So. All right. You just gotta get Wait, five. So high. Hold on. Have you uh, done our delivery before? Um, not on United Ops, but I've gone on oh, single okay. player and I've like set up the stakes okay. and choppered the gun around and everything, so I know exactly how it all works. Okay, yeah. Well, I guess we're both pretty much in the same boat then. I was gonna, if you didn't know anything about it, I was gonna let you do it, but yeah, I've done it. I did news course, which was it was like three hours just on the M one one nine, and honestly, <laughs> I wanted to take a nap after. I was like, yeah. <laughs> do you need that much information? 
Hey, out of curiosity, um, is there any way to move this other than sling loading it with a chopper? Uh, I think it can be attached to some vehicles, but I've never tried it. Because it's such a pain in the ass to, like, reset it up when you get there. So, yeah. Uh, and most missions don't call for it. Right, uh, it's just more of a curiosity thing. So I tried it in the editor, but I couldn't figure out any way to attach it to a yeah. truck or anything. I think... I'm trying to think. Uh, Alright, so, uh, back to what we were talking about. I, I know we uh, talked about it in the course, I just don't remember what it was. Um, right, I think there is a way to attach it to a truck. I don't uh, know if it's the back, tow mechanism or what. Back to 3200, it might be only certain trucks, too. Then shift it back using the, in the opposite hmm. direction and line it back up but. on the stakes. Oh, here, hold on. I'm frapsing this. I'm going to put it all on YouTube, so let me hop in the site so everyone can see what the uh, thing looks like. First. Yeah, it's a good idea. Oh uh, yeah, you could you could get that the Humvee. Hold on. Okay, <laughs> breaking down the trees to that that kind of thing. Yeah, the posts are kind of behind all those bushes. <laughs> <laughs> they fucked up the hunting really well. <laughs> okay. I can see that. That works? <laughs> yes, thanks. Alright, All right, <laughs> hey Pi, can you get a can you get an introverse mission? Do we have one? Yeah, I think I was. That was a silly, silly problem to have. <laughs> Hilarious. I loved it. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's great. Alright, stand by for fire mission guys. What's going on? Alright, do you want to take the first one? Uh, okay, sure. You're going to give us a fire mission. BCS? Yeah. Okay. You just want to uh, do it like piece by piece and you kind of explain like each yeah. part to them. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to give you each part of the fire mission and uh, you guys can, uh, uh, I'll, I'll tell you what you need to do. Alright, copy. One of us will help. So the first part of the fire mission will be fire mission, which is the warning order. Basically tells everyone that heads up that there's a fire mission coming down. Uh, next part of the warning order is going to be uh, uh, the method, or method of control. So, uh, method of control in this case is going to be uh, fire at my command. Uh, then it's going to—they're going to send you the number of rounds. So, uh, actually, scratch that. That'll be in reverse. So it'll say warning order, number of rounds, method of control. So, for example. Uh, fire mission, five rounds, when ready, or fire mission, four rounds at my command. Alright, does everyone understand that? Any questions? 
Alright, next will be the type type of uh, round. So in this case, HE charge 2, quick. Alright, so quick is the same thing as point detonate. Uh, HE, of course, referring to the type of round, and the charge referring to what charge you need. So for example, other examples would be Willie Pete charge 8 uh, point, or Willie Pete charge 3 uh, delay, Willie Pete charge 1 P, uh, time, and then they'll give you a time at that point. Uh, the next, the last two parts are the most important. They're going to be the deflection and the elevate and the quadrant or the elevation. Uh, in these guns, it's called quadrant. So the deflection, three one one three quadrant zero two two seven. So uh, any examples we'll do there. That's the numbers you're going to put in the sight unit. All right, for the elevation and deflection regard, uh, respectively. The azimuth at the top there, that is your actual like orientation of the gun with respect to uh, true north, and that is not the same thing as deflection for these guns. Also, you need to adjust the sight if you want that, but we're not gonna worry about that because it's not important for uh, operating the actual gun. So I'm gonna give you guys a fire mission. Fire mission, one rounds, HE, charge two, quick. Deflection three one one three quadrant zero two two seven. So gunners, put in the deflection and the uh, quadrant, and work on adjusting your uh, sight unit so that you you're relatively assured that you're aiming in the right spot. Loaders, work on getting the ammunition ready. The only thing I'd say, man, is maybe slow it down a little bit that way, you know, turn all the Russian right stuff down. Hey. So it'll be like, it'll be like fire mission, battery, one round, special instructions, at my command, shut up, HE, charge, or fuse, feed, or fuse quick, then deflection, blah, 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 yeah. partner, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Alright, spread out, see if they need help. Alright, going to uh, 5, has got the uh, elevation and deflection all set. Cool. Do you have any questions? No, we're, you up. we're all set, we're ready to fire. As soon as he loads. You guys all good here? Be careful not to load too many rounds. Uh, this fire mission is just one round, so it doesn't help you if you have a bunch of... Uh, if you have a bunch of... Oh, sorry, I meant four rounds. Get your gun, uh, keep checking when you're ready. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. Gun 5 ready to fire. Gun 6 ready. Gun 1 ready. Uh, how about gun 2 ready. In the gun. Gun ready. Alright, uh, oh, anyone not ready? Gun 2 is not ready. Insufficient ammo. Insufficient ammo. Hmm, I think it's unloaded. Try loading it. There you go. Uh, now it works. Okay. Uh. Cool. Can you help me with the deflection? I don't know what I put in the, in the side. Alright, hold on, let me hop out, let me look. Uh, I have changed. So you put the deflection as... Uh, so what did you change here? Uh, nothing at the moment. Okay, so... Okay. Go ahead and hop back in. 
All right, so bring up the you see the uh, interaction menu with the where it says view and uh, the site unit. Yes. All right. So now you can see the uh, plus. Uh, if you look at the boxes there, there's plus DEF and minus DEF. Yes. All right. So you want to adjust the uh, DEF until it says three one one three. All right. And you can hit control to go by tens and hit shift to go by hundreds. Does that make sense? Do you see the deflection yes. numbers changing? Do you see the deflection numbers changing? Yes, number is changing. Alright, so make it 3113. Alright. And then do the same thing where it says ELV, elevation. It should be on the same row on the right side. And you want to make it until it says 0227. Uh, two, uh, oh, okay. I have to put it in as you said. It. I, I, I saw it. I have to do math. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Hold on. Oh, hey, guys, by the way, uh, to change the numbers on the site unit quickly, hit shift to go by hundreds and hit control to go by tens. So that we don't have to, like, click a million times. Yay, learning. Woo! Yeah. All right. You okay, guys good to go? Ready. All right. Now did you... Did you... Now you got a sight, hit zero. Alright, you now you got a move gun. Yeah. Not like a No one. Alright, so what direction are you gonna have to move the gun to get back to your states? I think so. Is he gonna go be the UFO? I guess so, yeah. So, so what was our, our so our initial deflection is all Either that or he's gonna be the target. Which I'm all for. <laughs> That would be cool. <laughs> like, yeah, you killed me. Awesome job, no, everyone. No, no. So our, a deflection, <laughs> our, that's our initial azimuth. Our initial deflection is always 3200. Okay, 3200. So if we made our deflection 3113, what direction do we have to move the gun to put it on there? Left? Yeah, left. So hold shift and click the left uh, arrow until you can see your stakes, all right? <laughs> Did someone get four hurt? lined up? All right. Now, when you look at your sight unit, is the is the bubble level? Is it level, or is the O on one side or the other? Oh. Okay, the O is on the right side. All right. So if it's on the right, that means you're too too high, right? I, d I never remember. Yeah, oh, right means you're too high. Try lowering the gun and see if it goes the right way. Yeah, I just twist the knob and it's all Yeah, that's what I do too. So use the up and down arrows and shift. All right. So you got to move the the arrows up. Try moving it, hitting shift and hit your up arrow. Move the gun down. Now did the did the bubble move? Yes, now it's aligned. All right, cool. So do you understand what you're doing now? Now I'm understanding. Perfect, thank you. All right. Are you guys ready to fire? Yeah, yep. we're all set. All right, hold on, let me check it. Perfect. All right, someone getting gunner. Well, we're gonna just do a. We're gonna do a battery fire.
Oh, that's, that's cool. cool. Yeah, I was wondering if that was going to be a visual range out with such a low All right, go to charge. Pick doll. Yeah. All right, we're going to try doing, uh, let's do four rounds, all right? See how fast you guys can load. All right, so loaders prep four rounds, prepare to fire. Just, hey, uh, I recommend drop that one and prep your other ones. The people back there have very, very bad day. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll formalize this again. Fire mission, four rounds, HE, charge two, quick. Deflection, three, one, one, three. Quadrant, zero, two, two, seven. Fire on my command. Gun five ready. I all right, I'll call off on checking when you're ready. Gun six ready. Four ready. Roger. So you want to move them all closer? I think this is going to be yeah, like so a rapid do. fire test here. Yeah, except not. This is silly. Okay, here we go. I forgot that you use Ace Self Interact to pick it up, or, or to drop it, even though you use Ace Interact to pick it up. <laughs> yeah, kind of Silly, weird. confusing system. Yeah, I, I guess it makes sense logically, but it's kind of... Yeah, it's just unintuitive when you actually yeah. are doing it. Because I'm always thinking like, oh, press the button I used to pick it up. I can't drop it. What? It's broken. <laughs> Two yeah. seconds later, I am a fool. I've had this problem before. Uh, the best was when I was uh, shifting the gun, I think, to the right, right. the first time. And I'm pushing all the buttons like, how do I drop the gun? <laughs> and I eventually just like mashed every button on my keyboard and like s smacked them all out of anger. And then I uh, went prone <laughs> and dropped the gun finally. Yeah. I had the same exact problem, except I quit Arma, because I was like... Alright, so I have a good point. <laughs> and remember that, that you gotta it's change sad. the charge in the fusing <laughs> each time you prep a round. If the round is ill-prepared, you can always fix it by uh, doing self or an interaction menu and then changing it. All bow to the powerful floating shell. Gotta admit, that looks pretty strange. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys good to go? Yes. Alright, cool. Gun two, gun one. Check in when you're ready to fire. Gun two, ready to fire. Battery, stand by. Sweet. Wow. All call sign check in when your rounds complete. Five rounds complete. Six rounds complete. Four. Four rounds complete. And that's all base. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> All call signs are incomplete. Nice job. Observer reports good effect on target. Well, I should hope so. Yeah, I mean, 20 rounds? <laughs> You'd hope. We killed a lot of trees. That's all I'll say. Oh, I know. 
gave this mountain a bald spot here. <laughs> Does everyone get that? So set 3200 and traverse the gun back. Alright, All right, gunners, once you re center the gun 3200, alright, then uh, hop out and let switch with your assistant gunner. Okay, let's switch. It was just, uh... Yeah, it's fire. Run, they can probably come on. Like two or three All minutes. Alright, you're at the main. That's okay, there's another guy Sweet. down one, so... Okay. Hey, Bob, this is Falcon. Can you calculate a mission for, uh... KRP-202... Yes. Two, over. Uh, I got it. Roger, I marked my map. That should work, I think. Hey, who had to, who who had to go? Uh, me. Sixteen. Yeah. Alright, did you already do the gunner bit or did you do the assistant gunner? Uh I did the assistant gunner. I was loading Ooh. stuff. Alright. Hop in the gunner and we'll get you a fire mission really quick. Do you have it, Bob? Uh not quite. Yeah. Hey, let's do a DPICM mission. DPICM. Okay. Alright guys, one second. Use time. Fire mission. On to my command. One round. Charge five. Deflection. Three, four, eight, four. Quadrant. Zero, one, seven, six. Uh, what's the... Uh, what type of... Round and fuse. DPICM. One second. Sorry, that was DPICM, charge five, fuse, time. DPICM, charge 5, 7.5 second fuse. Remember to adjust the fuse and the charge every time. Which is the GFS? 
Well, I might just crash. Okay, just hop back. Uh, sorry, what's the All point right, or time? Alright, uh, round should be in there. Time was 7.5 seconds, DPICM charge 5. So this is HE. So DPICM is over here. I don't think I'm ready. No, I'm aiming at the trees. I need DPICM. Alright, uh, you wanna... Grab me and spin me, uh, left. Gun left. Guns report ready to fire. Uh, Falcon correct. Right, here we uh, go. Time is 7 and 2, over. Say again. Uh, no, I'm not correct. Oh, wait, sorry, right. right. Time is that was my bad. <laughs> uh, right. I'm just dumb today. Yeah, sorry, right. 7.2? Yeah, you know so. yeah 7.2. Alright, correction on the time. Uh, blame Bob. It's uh, 7.2 seconds. Alright, stop. Thanks. Did he say 7.2? Yep, yeah, 7.2. Yeah, you have to re redo them. Okay. Alright, Falcon. Bob. Uh, yeah. Uh, one more correction. Quadrant 201, over. Also, Bob messed up the quadrant. Quadrant 201. Alright, I fixed your rounds for you guys. Can you cool, make sure thanks. it was 7.2? Yes. The one you loaded? Okay. Alright, we'll Blaine, rounds up. I prepare some more rounds. Sweet. I'm just keeping you guys on your toes. <laughs> you guys ready to fire? <laughs> I'll go and check in when you're ready to fire. Gun 5 ready. Did he happen to mention how many additional rounds to prepare? No, he just said one, so... Oh, he ran past and said prepare some more rounds, but... I oh, he, he did? I did not notice that. Oh. Uh, uh, you can just do, like, three, three more, did four say more. to prepare more rounds, right? Yeah, Roger. Just get, some, uh, get a couple more rounds. We'll do another speed uh, after we shoot the first rounds. Bob, if you want to go observe, that'd be great. What quantity? Like four or five or four is fine. Uh -huh. Okay. Alright, do so you guys confident you guys have the right thing? Yes. Alright, let me see it. No way. Sorry, Bob, what did you say the new quadrant was? A new quadrant two zero one over there. physically move the gun using the arrow keys so that it's lined up with the stakes and that the bubble is level. Okay, okay we're all like set that, here. I believe. Alright, so try it again. Sweet. Time to own some trees. Yeah. With really, really expensive ammo. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> so did you guys have to shift the gun to the right? You should have had to. Yeah, uh, I changed the level first. We shifted both ways, because we're just that cool. I know. I think I might I'll be right back. quote that. I might quote myself. We right, you both guys ways. feel confident? Yeah, take a look. Looks good. Is All right. right now? And we need to shift that gun 
I'm sh I'm shifting it. Get in. Can you see the snakes? Uh, level is in the middle. Right, this so way. hit zero, nah. hit numpad zero, or change view. Yeah. Alright, can you see the snakes? Uh. Hey Pi, can you check all the rest of the guns, make sure they're okay? Okay, so my, uh, yeah, the scope is set mm -hmm. up. Alright, let me see. Okay. Uh, leave. Right. I don't know. Almost. So, you want to put it between the two aiming stakes if they're offset by like that. So, let's see. That looks good. So, the reflection looks good. Yeah, so you're about, you're off the stakes. So you want the, the 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 line that's vertical up and down. So that should be the one that's on the on the stakes. All right, the big line in the middle of the scope. So let's see. So let's see if you can fix that. You're you're not off by much. You just need to go to the right a little more. All right. You get it? Wait, there's the red, uh, there's the line. So, see the line in the middle? Goes up and down? Alright. Wait, one. What? So. Line in the middle? So there's a big line in the middle that goes from the top of the scope to the bottom of the scope. That's the line that needs yeah. to be lined up with the stakes. Oh. So it should be like crosshairs on the stakes. No, no, no. So adjust the adjust the adjust the elevation. It doesn't matter how far up and down on the stakes it is. Use the bubble to tell you up and down. It just needs to be lined up left and right. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. Yeah, there goes the bubble. There it right. is. Let me see. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, perfect. Get, you get what you're doing now? Yeah. Okay. Battery, stand by! One. I forgot we were only doing it one first time. Six <laughs> rounds I was like, shouldn't we be shooting more? And I was like, oh wait. Alright, yeah. Dodger. Hey, oh, uh, I keep forgetting, are we supposed to say rounds complete five or five rounds complete? All guns, I think fire mission. You can say either. Four rounds, DPICM, charge five, time 7.2, deflection 3482, sorry, 3484, quadrant 02. Wow, this thing is quick now. When they first put it in, it was a little slow. Five rounds complete. 
Yeah. Damn, four rounds. We so speedy. I know. Yeah, it used to take a lot longer to load, and um, the gunner would just kind of be sitting here looking around. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, yeah, it was like better to use two people because it was so slow. I remember. It, I think the progress bar is definitely broken. Six rounds. Yeah, there's, I was expecting a progress bar. And I was like, what? There's no, nothing at all. Yeah. I sat there for a second after the first round. Like, <laughs> what, what's going on here? And then I heard the gun load. I'm like, oh crap! It just yeah, like, it makes yeah, noise. Right right in. You guys yeah, it just makes noise, and it's really, really quick. Oh no! That was actually yeah, was like surprised. that was the yeah. limit of how fast I could click things, not the limit of how fast it would uh, like actually put rounds in the gun. Yeah, I had the same problem. It was like taking longer to turn around than to reload the gun. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, it's a silly problem to have. But I think it's because, um, before, like, you used to have, like, if you were doing, like, the two-man crew, like, two guys was way too slow. So at least now, two guys is too fast. I think I do. <laughs> right. Like, two guys, you go through these four ammo boxes in, like, two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Which would be ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're the only ones that prepped oh, yeah. the rounds earlier, I, I think. No. Oh, oh I see. Ahead of the game. Have you used the, uh, the Paladin at all? I hope I know. Yeah, I that hope. thing is so cool. <laughs> yeah, it's sweet. I like how easy it is. Like, it's if yeah. it's so much easier than this. Like, you're your own FDC. Uh, all yeah, that. I know. It's, it's convenient. Yeah, it's uh, English. it definitely has some armor issues. Uh, you can shoot it with a machine gun and blow off the track. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I shot it with an M240 and I broke the track after like three quarters of a box. Nice. I'm gonna have to give that a go. Next time I'm playing Dominic with some people, like, wait, 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 I just wanna try this. All call signs end mission. Everyone shift your deflection back to 3200 and line it back up, we're on the stakes. And then that's good. Alright, you got the traverse centered? Uh, give me a second. Alright, you can turn me now. Alright, good to go. Alright, when you're done, regroup on you. the uh, boxes Maybe near the back yeah. of the battery. Go back, right. Uh, I can't leave. Press X. Oh. Stop. Okay. You'll need to shift your gun back to line it up. All lined up. Nice. What does level gun do? I've never been able to figure that out. Oh, if um, you're really high, it levels it? Is that what it does? No, it's if you transport the gun, like with the chopper or whatever, and you drop uh -huh. it off, it uh, kind of lands on the ground at a bit of an angle. Oh, so right. So you, you okay. click that, and it resets the gun to be perfectly level, which is really entertaining on a hillside because the like spikes will stick out the bottom of the the base of it or whatever. It looks <laughs> all really goofy, but it it allows you to actually land the rounds where you want them, as opposed to having the hill offset it by you know 15 degrees. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. So that's why it does not appear to do anything, because yeah, it's already flat. Exactly. And I think when you place it in the editor. It automatically levels it too. Yeah, I think it does that and it puts down the aiming stakes all on its own. Yeah. Oh, right, we're supposed to go to the boxes, huh? Oh, that that detail. One second, guys. All right. So the guys, the guys are already done. You guys, have any questions about the 119s? 
At least as far as the actual like being the gun crew. I I do have a it was not a gun crew question. Yeah, go ahead though. Okay. Um do you know I asked Bloodbane, but do you know if there's a way to transport it via vehicle other than sling loading it with a chopper? Um you could use an attached to script or ace tow ropes. The tow ropes do work? I think so. I awesome. would test them though. <laughs> I have to give that a shot. Then. Any other questions? You guys feel like you know know how to use the one one nines now pretty effectively? At yeah, least if so. someone gives you the fire mission. And I have to say, I took news course, um, and this was much more concise and informative. Right. Um, so we might we might end uh, as far as the gun goes. We'll end here. I just want to cover really quickly how to talk to uh, Ford observers. Uh, we won't go over the FDC stuff because really only one person really needs to know how to do that and usually there's at least one person I recommend you guys uh, play around the PCS so these Humvees that are around here all have a PCS computer in them and that's what we've been using to calculate the fire missions you can also do it just like we did for the mortars the only difference is to calculate your deflection you take your initial azimuth so you figure out where the gun is pointing alright and then all you have to do is do the math for the deflection. So instead, so in the mortars, when you open up the T and E, I'll I'll repeat that when everyone gets here. So hold on, okay. All right, so so really quick, guys. Um, so there's two ways to calculate fire missions for the one one nines. All right. Uh, there's you can either use the Humvees that have the BCS in them, uh, all right. They're just placed in the editor. You go to Ace RD Equipment, and they're BCS Humvees. I'll let you guys play around with that. This course isn't designed to necessarily teach you guys how to be the fire direction center. Um, the other way you can do it is you can do it with the map tools and the range tables, just like we did it for um, the mortars. Uh, the only difference between that is that. Um, when you calculate the deflection, what you're going to do is you're going to go from the RD mark, let's say. You're going to find the the bearing to your target, and you're going to have to do some math. So, for example, these guns, we knew their initial lay azimuth was 4,800 mils. So, if I, let's say I was uh, looking at uh, TRP-103, which had 4,950 mils as their, as their deflection, right? The deflection I need to enter into the gun is going to be, so it starts at 3,200, right? So I need to add 150, because I subtracted 4,950, I subtract the initial lay azimuth, which is 4,800. So I get, I need to go 150 mm radians to the right. So then I add that to 3,200, and that gives me what my deflection needs to be on the gun sight. Does that make sense? So it would be 3,350 is the deflection I'd have to enter into the gun. Does anyone have any questions about that? Anyone? Okay. Otherwise, it works exactly like the mortars. You find your elevation using the range table, use the M119 range table. Right, we have all our different kinds of rounds. All right. Time of fight is the time to fuse, uh, sensor fuse. So if you do that, so let's say I'm shooting DPICM charge 1 at 2,500 meters, then the time I need to put in for the, the round is 34.9 seconds. That'll be my, f my fuse time. Does that make sense? All right. And the other thing is the elevation. Just like you need to take the elevation in account, you need to take the elevation in account for time of flight. All right. All right. So, last thing we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about radio comms and how to talk to the FDC and how to be the FCD. So if you're the if you're the battery, all right. If you're the the artillery guys, using the radio is really easy. All you got to do is just repeat whatever the FDC says and then send them a message to observer. Okay. If you're the FO, it's a lot harder. All right. New covers this pretty well in his FO course. We're just going to briefly go over it here all right so there's a whole two hour course on how to do fo but generally uh, if you guys open uh, 20 
uh, or 60 dash uh, 22 or whatever it is. It's in the where I put the where I put the announcement. Uh, it's in. It's at the very bottom there. There's a link. I'll send you guys the link in TS2. There you go. 66-30. So if you guys scroll to, or you go to page, um, so go to page uh, 13. It's section 3, elements of the call for fire. All right. So a call for fire is made up of three primary elements. First is the observer identification and warning order. Second is the target location. And the third is the target description, method of engagement, and method of fire control. All right. So, uh, for example, let's say uh, Pi was the FTC and his call sign was Archer, and uh, my name, I'm the FO, my call sign is uh, Hitman, okay? So, uh, an example of a radio would be uh, Archer, this is Hitman, fire mission, fire for effect, grid, over. So that's a warning order, all right, and a defecation. I identify myself. I'm Hitman, all right. I uh, use proper radio procedures, so I say who I'm gonna, who I'm talking to first. So I, you know, you and then me. So I say Archer, this is Hitman. So that's identification. Then I tell him uh, the warning order, which is gonna tell him what type of a mission. So the type of missions are for adjust, so fire for uh, adjust, uh, fire for effect immediate smoke and immediate suppression all right so um, or suppression mission although that's kind of new goes over that in the FTC course with differences all right and then I tell them the method of what what kind of a mission so uh, uh, or sorry I already said that so uh, type of mission and then I tell them uh, how I'm gonna identify the target so I can tell them a grid mission, which is pretty much standard. If they leave it off, it's usually a fire for effect grid. Um, but more in depth, you get to know shift from known point or a polar mission. And in the shift from known point, you have to have a common point that you guys know about. And in the polar plot or the polar mission, they have to know what your position is, which you tell them you'd register with the FTC beforehand. All right, or in any kind of adjust mission, they need to at least know your observer target direction. All right, so uh, for example, Archer, this is Hitman. Fire mission, grid, fire for effect, over. This is Archer, fire mission, grid, fire for effect, over. Right, so all he has to do is repeat back to me what I said. All right, and then I'll continue. <sighs> right, so in this case, a grid mission, I'll give him the grid. Say, I'll say, grid, eight figure, zero, one, two, three. Zero four five six over. Roger grid zero one two three zero four five six over. All right. So I've just given him the target location. Okay. So now that he's got the target location, right? I've identified the target. I could also tell him if it was a shift from known point mission. I might say TRP zero zero one uh, OT sixty four hundred. Add. Zero left zero. So the OT is the observer target direction. So if I'm observing, I take out my compass. I'll find out how many mils it is to my to my target. I'll tell him what the OT is, and then from there I just use add drop left right. So if I want to shoot him to shoot longer, I say add. Shorter, I say drop. Left is left. Right is right. Uh, does anyone know what's special about 6400 for your OT direction? Zero. Right, but but what can I do? So if I say add 164, my OT is 6400, and I say add 100, what am I really telling him to do? Shifted 100 meters north. Right. So it's it's now reference cardinal directions. So so that's handy because if you know the cardinal direction, you can do that, and you don't have to know what your OT is, and it just is convenient for adjustments. All right, so. So I've told him the 
you know the target uh, identification and then you go to target description uh, which includes uh, target description method of engagement and method of control all right so uh, so the target description uh, basically uh, what the target is you know infantry armor trucks supplies whatever what they're doing you know moving in the open digging in and then uh, you know number of elements uh, so like how big is it platoon company battalion division whatever just to be clear if you're calling in fires on a, anything higher than a company you're probably wrong since we never do that in Arma uh, then give him the degree of protection alright so uh, you know they're in foxholes are they in under cover under trees and stuff you know whatever uh, the size and shape if they're significant so if they're bigger than like if you want an area of effect bigger than 100 by 100 you tell them it how big it needs to be so you know 400 by 200 and then define the attitude and attitude is the long axis of the target so if I say 600 by 100 attitude and then I give them a mills like uh, 1000 or something so that would be like a rectangle oriented to the northeast that's 600 meters long and 100 meters wide method of engagement uh, so type of a, those are kind of th so these are all like special instructions basically uh, the only one you really need to tell them is if you want them to fire at your uh, sorry method of engagement is pretty much like you can request a certain amount of uh, you know dispersion or you can request a certain ammunition uh, but for the most part you can just guys can read that it's pretty simple uh, and you usually don't use it and then method of control the most simple thing is uh, either at my command or fire when ready so fire when ready is like as fast as they can do it at my command is basically uh, okay hold this until I tell you to uh, so um, you can also tell them like time on target and stuff like that but again not really used and then repeat if you say repeat after a fi during fire for effect that means fire the same number of rounds same charge setting same everything all right uh, and a repeat during adjustments means fire the last adjustment with the same stuff I didn't see it all right so for example uh, hitman, uh, enemy platoon in the open, uh, fire for effect, fire, or, or enemy platoon in the open, DPICM, fire when ready, would be a, would be an example of a target description. Or, uh, you know, hitman, uh, enemy armor, uh, sat arm, uh, moving or some, uh, or moving enemy armor, request sat arm. Uh, fire at my command. So, uh, see, so run it back down through the top. So, uh, the three things from the FO will be like look like this. So, archer, hitman, fire mission, fire for effect, polar, over. Uh, archer, fire mission, fire for effect, polar, over. And then, uh, given this is given, I've already given in my location. So, uh, Hitman, uh, direction, one, two, five, zero, range, uh, 1500, over. Hitman, direction, one, two, five, zero, range, one, five, hundred, over. Hitman, enemy troops in the open, uh, fire at my command, over. Hitman, enemy troops in the open, at my command, over. Alright, that's that's the all the observer needs to do. Now, as the battery, we decide what's the most effective way to attack the target. So, for example, enemy <sighs> troops in the open, we're probably going to use DPICM. Alright, so we'll, uh, we'll, fi we'll figure out what we're going to engage with. Let's say there's an enemy platoon of troops in the open. So we're probably going to need about six D 
DPICM rounds to cover that effectively. Would you say that, Pi? Work uh, work pretty well. Yeah. All right. So six DPICM rounds. So we've decided we're gonna use six DPICM rounds, right? I've got six guns here, so I might. I'm gonna. I'm gonna then give my battery, right? I'm gonna get started on my battery. Uh, fire mission. So that's when I send a fire mission like the ones I was sending to you guys, right? I'd say like fire mission one round, you know, DPICM charge five, whatever it happens to be. Uh, but to the to the Ford observer, I'm gonna send a message to observer, which is gonna let him know what I'm firing, how long it's gonna get take to get there, and any other s information he has to know. I'm also gonna give him a target identifier so that if he ever needs that mission again, all he has to do is tell me, you know, repeat mission, da 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 da, and they can fire it again. So, uh, Pi, you wanna give a message to observer? Yeah, so it would be like uh, message to observer, hitman, uh, six rounds, DPICM, target number one. Hitman, uh, six rounds, DPICM, target number one, over. And then when you guys start shooting, you'll call shot, so you'll say shot, over. And then uh, the observer will say shot out. And then splash, you'll call splash. Uh, splash isn't as important as calling as shot. The only reason you really call splash is because if the observer's taking cover, he can pop his head up and look for the splash. But uh, if you're like firing for effect, it doesn't really matter. But it's kind of courteous to say it anyway. So you'll say shot over or splash over, and then the observer will wait for the splash, and then he'll say splash out. All right. Uh, at that point. Uh, if he's giving adjustments, they'll make the adjustments. So they'll say, uh, you know, adjust, like OT, you know, da 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 da, adjust left 50, uh, uh, add 100, fire for effect, or left 50, add 50, he'll shoot another adjustment round. Alright, whenever he's satisfied he's on target, he'll give you the, c the command fire for effect. At that point, you'll go ahead and fire for effect. And, uh, that then, uh, uh, when when he's done, you're done. You call. You'll when all rounds are completed, you'll call rounds complete, and then the observer can choose to close the mission at that point. He'll say end of mission, and then you'll confirm the end of mission. And at that point, the fire mission's over. So, any questions? <laughs> no. I know if I can add one thing. Um. Another uh, thing yeah. is like you talk about a just fire. Basically, what a just fire is is it's like one one piece in the battery is gonna fire, and then the FTC is gonna adjust that one piece until they're on target. So typically, a mission it'll come down like this. Instead of your uh, pieces falling as they fire, coming down as like battery one round, it'll come down as battery adjust number three one round. What that means is the entire battery is adjusting on number three, but only gun number three is firing, and they're firing one round. Right. So whenever they make an adjustment and give the adjustment to the guns, every single person puts the adjustment in their gun, even if you're not the one firing the adjust rounds. So that way, when they're ready to fire for effect, you can do it immediately. Uh, another thing to note is um, technically, while you're still in mission, all that needs to happen to repeat that mission is you just need a quadrant. So like say, uh, or let's just say we're firing for, or we're just fires. Okay, so we're on target. So it's going to come down, you're not going to get all the stuff. If all the shell and the fuse and the time stays the same as the last adjust fire, you might just get correction, method of fire, battery, one round, quadrant, blah, blah, blah. And that quadrant is just to verify that, okay, we're on, on the same quadrant. It's just kind of a safety thing. Yeah, because if you mess up the load. deflection, for the most part, it's not as bad as messing up the quadrant. Typically, you tend to be behind the people you're firing for. So if you mess up the quadrant, and you could really end someone's day if it lands short. Alright, are there any questions on, like, the radio procedure? Alright, I don't know if Pi and Bob want to stick around and give you guys some practice observing, but I kind of need to go for a while, so I was going to end it here and uh, let you guys um, decide what you want to do. If you guys want to stick around and practice, some people going doing observing, some people shooting, giving fire missions, also yeah, using PCS. 
Alright, uh, I'm sure Pi and Bob can both show you how to use the BCS. It's not that bad. Alright, it's the easiest way to calculate fire missions. Uh, but the most part, I just wanted to get everyone here comfortable using the 119s, using the mortars, and calculating them on paper. So is everyone happy with at least doing that? Uh-huh. Alright, so like I said at the beginning, it's a survey course. Alright, so we briefly did the 119s, we briefly did mortars, and we briefly did the FDC. Uh, if you really want to get into this, there's a lot more literature, a lot more courses. Uh, New or offers courses on all three of those things. And he's like the kind of artillery guru around here. So, um, if you, this is all interesting, I would highly recommend you guys take his courses. You'll learn more, alright, for sure. And having this base of knowledge will just make the stuff you do learn there, like the stuff you retain, more interesting, like higher level stuff. Because you won't have to like worry about retaining, you know, how to calculate a mortar mission, but you'll be able to do all the details of the like oh. doing sheaf fire missions, area fire missions, all that good stuff. Yeah, you guys have any comments? I need a short break. Oh. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's take a quick break, and then uh, anyone who wants to stick around for additional practice, uh, we can uh, we can do something. Anyways, uh, any comments or questions? Yeah, good job, Falcon. That was pretty good. I learned some. Yeah, very nice. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you for the course. Thank you. Alright, sweet. Yeah, uh, you guys can reload this map more, more rounds or whatever. Okay, I think we'll be okay. Uh, let's just take five minutes and meet back here in like uh, five minutes. Yeah, the course is officially over, so if anyone has to go, go for it. But I think Bob wants to go and do some stuff, so. Yeah, sounds good. Cool.